So in this video today, I'm basically going to be showing you how to automatically redirect your HTTP traffic to your HTTPS version of your website. Um, so yeah, in the last video, I used this domain here. Well, this subdomain tutorials.kingsley.tech. So as you can see, I have HTTP it still directs the traffic to the HTTP portion of the site. So if I put in HTTPS colon slash slash, you can see that it does have a HTTPS version. Now, what I'm trying to achieve here is something like this. So if we take my business website, which is seektech.ie, if I put in HTTP and we search that, you can see it initially loads a HTTP version but then it automatically redirects to the HTTPS. So that's what we're trying to achieve today. Now, the process is very, very simple, and all you have to do is basically edit your .ht access file um, within your file manager for your hosting company. There are some instructions online on how to replace it, and if you're with a particular hosting company, if you check their knowledge base, you should be able to find the information. So if we take a look here, this is Hostpapa's uh, knowledge base. And you can see if we go to the bottom here, you have the information, which is exactly the same with other hosting companies. So if we take a look at GoDaddy, you can see the same information here. And that's it. It's really simple. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to check out your hosting company's knowledge base for more information as well. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and add or edit the .ht access file. And to do that is very simple. You just need to move over to where it says files within your cPanel and then just click on file manager. Now this will open up your file manager and generally it does um, direct itself to your home directory for your hosting company. What I would recommend you do is go over to settings. The first thing you should do is select show hidden files. You can just go document uh, root four, and I'm going to select tutorials.kingsley.tech and hit save. Now this won't really do anything. So you would have to close the file manager and then just simply reopen it again. And as you can see now, it's automatically redirected me to this location, which is uh, tutorials.kingsley.tech. And if we take a look here, you can see there isn't an existing .ht access file. And the reason for this is because this is a subdomain. Now, if you went to the directory for any add-on domains or your primary domain, there generally would be an existing .ht access file. So all we simply have to do, hit file, and then just type in the ht access. Sorry, that's two C's. And then just simply hit create new file. Now, as you can see, we have the new file there. So right click, hit edit, and then edit again. Now, as you can see, this has opened up an editor for you to uh, put in the code for your .ht access um, file. What you can actually do um, is use an editor on your computer, which is what I'm doing here, and I have the file saved. Now you can simply just upload this file here um, to that directory, but for the sake of this video, let's assume we've copied this code. And all you do is simply paste it in, hit save changes, and close. And now if we go to tutorials, dot kingsley dot tech you can see it automatically redirect to the https now even if i put in http it will still redirect to the https version so yeah that's pretty much it it's very straightforward to do and nothing complicated at all you don't need to understand any bit of code it's the same code that you put in for any type of hosting company whatsoever um, but if you do have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.